to tell you, I thank God for being obedient. My topic is, what is in your temple? Amen. What is in your temple you, or your church? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. And uh, before we leave this this afternoon, I want you to sing, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> Every day I ask God to prepare me. Amen. Do a work in me. Yes, to be a blessing to others. Yes, God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. My scriptures was Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, and the book of Acts chapter 2 and 42. And it's a familiar scripture. It's telling us how we should go to the house of God and fellowship. And I tell you, but let me go on and read what I have before I jump the gun and forget a lot of things. Amen. You get excited. Amen. I get excited when I get to talk about Jesus. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I even thank you for even wanting to speak to my heart. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. The church is our bodies or temple where God wants to dwell or live. Amen. The church building is not what God is coming back for. I thank God for the church building. Mm-hmm. What we have our pastor, bishop, or leaders in the church to teach, mm-hmm. preach the word of God. Amen. God is coming back for this church. Mm-hmm. Our heart. Yes, for the God. spirit man. Amen. God is not coming back for the brick, the mortar, or the pew. Amen. Oh, Amen. But those that sit in the pews, I have a question. Amen. What are we putting in our church? Mm-hmm. What are we putting in our hearts mm-hmm. every day, daily? Mm-hmm. I like to ask questions. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be before you long. Mm-hmm. But I like to be. I told the Lord, I said, I want to be complicated. I don't want to be running Amen. 10 scriptures. I want to be direct Amen. Amen. and bold and say what you have to say and sit Amen. down somewhere. Amen. 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 Have your way. Yes. We thank God for the church building. We have a beautiful place here. People come and they say, oh, y'all have a beautiful place and, and the pews and the, the flowers. Amen. We even have a time where we can fellowship. Amen. I thank God for that. I thank God for our pastor. She always had us a beautiful place yeah. to Amen. fellowship and worship. Amen. For the word of God tells us not to forsake the assembly of ourselves together. Amen. We thank God we can come to hear and learn the word of God even fellowshipping to eat food together. All right, yes, ma'am. Question again: But what are we doing to pre- to prepare for Jesus? Amen. Amen. My God, my God. Amen. Amen. What are we doing to prepare for Jesus to come back for our church? Yes, yes. Our heart or our spirit, man. However you want to put that. What are you doing to prepare for Jesus to come back? Amen. <laughs> I'm noticing that people in my family, especially on my father's side, they're passing. They're leaving here. Amen. Just went to another funeral. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm-hmm. He's coming back. Mm-hmm. And he said he's coming back for a church without a spot. Around. He's not talking about this building. He's not talking about these bricks. He's not talking about these pews. He's talking about this church right here. What am I doing? Amen. What am I doing? For this church to prepare this church. Amen. Amen. I like to get up early in the morning. That's one of my secrets. I'm going to share with us. I like to get up early in the morning and spend time with God. Amen. Amen. While I'm cooking. One morning I burnt some meat and I threw it in the trash can before my husband got to the kitchen. (laughs) Because I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. What are we doing to prepare for God to come back? That is a serious question. Yes, it is. I'm serious. Amen. We come in, we're clapping our hands, we're patting our feet. We're even saying, praise the Lord. I ask the question, are we really allowing God to come in and bring about a change in our lives through his word? Yeah. Come on. All right. And I said, Lord, 
Lord, even if you don't pick up your Bible at home, we have some Bible study. We have ministerial class. You always have something to learn if you don't read for yourself. Come and be a part. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. The mm. word and God's spirit is what's going to change us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, honey. Amen. The word uh-huh. and God's spirit is what is going to change us. Amen. God gave me this. Amen. Amen. Nothing else. No materialistic stuff on earth we thank God for. It, but Amen. the word of God is what's going to change us. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Glory. Thank Before coming to the house of God, mm-hmm. I'm coming to an end. Mm-hmm. Amen. I ask for, for the forgiveness of my sins. Right. Amen. Amen. Two, I tell God I want to receive his word. Right. Yes. Coming in expectation yes. that a change is going to come about in me. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. On my job. Come on over, Sam. Mm-hmm. Amen. I have all type of people that come to me. Amen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have a Jehovah's Witness lady come to me uh-huh. and love to sit at my table and wants to talk to me. I said, we got a job to do, but I can I get with you. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Love to talk about, I love talking about Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have men that come to me now. Amen. They call me their big sister on the job. Amen. Or they'll call me mom. Amen. And some of them are older than me. Amen. I don't take, I don't get offended. Amen. But if God give me opportunity you, to talk about Jesus. Yes. Tell the men y'all get right. Uh huh. Stop running these streets. Amen. Get away and sit down. Get in the house of God. Amen. I'm always, Sister Miller can tell you, I'm always telling them, come to church. You don't come to my church, go to somebody's church that's preaching Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for my light. Mm-hmm. And He allowed my light to shine. I said, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Can you help me? I said, no, ma'am, I can't. I got back in my car and said, Lord, you didn't give me a spirit of fear. That's right. If I have to, I'll fight this woman in this parking lot. <laughs> but I got out of my car Amen. and I walked into the restaurant to get a hokey sandwich for me and my husband. Amen. She asked me, she said, ma'am, you have some change. She had a handful of pennies. I said, ma'am, I don't. She said, I didn't mean to scare you. I said, no, you startled me. You didn't scare me. Right. You startled me. Amen. But I had to go and regroup and come back. I'm not running from the devil. Right. I'm not running for Satan. Right. Yeah. She began to talk to me. She was saying she was diagnosed with AIDS and she smoked crack. I said, God, what shall I say to this woman? Had a big scar in the middle of her forehead. I went in. I said, Do you want a sandwich? I'll get you something to eat. All right, man. She said, ma'am, I'm going to be honest. She said, I don't really want nothing. I want some change so I can get on the bus to go across town. I said, where's your family? She said, my family don't want to have nothing to do with me. I took her hand. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I took her hand and I shook her hand. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, Lord, wherever she going tonight, don't let her smoke no crack. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. She went on the table. She couldn't keep down no food or anything. But I know a God. Yeah. I know a God. Hallelujah. Yes, he can reach down yes. and he can pick you up. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He did it for me yes. and he'll do it for you. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. I started to bless the woman. I gave her two dollars. I went in and got my food and paid for it. Let me give it to her. I gave it to her because her had prayed over it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for being obedient. Glory, hallelujah. I'm not going to walk around and be afraid of people. God going to use us to bless somebody. Yeah. I love him so much. I love him more than my husband. Yeah. I love him more than the tangible things he blessed me with.
Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. He's even conditioned me what my eyes see on the TV. Yeah. 